what is up what is up what is up fs club hopefully you guys are all having an amazing wednesday guys we got lots and lots and lots of mods in today also today guys we got a whole bunch of updates i will not be going over them in here we also got two new season geos we got the crater bay and we also got south of quebec we also got an update to the rdc farming simulator map uh so make sure you guys do check out to those but we're going to go over the new mods in this video so let's get to it guys okay the first new mod we're going to go over this one was from yesterday. This is the NMC 320H Pro Snow Snowblower. Three slots, $7,950. So pretty, pretty nice. A uh, little bit of stuff on this. You guys have to make sure when you use this, you use it on your land you own. You cannot use it anywhere you do not own the land. Also, make sure you guys, whenever you guys hook it up, make sure you guys click in it uh, to unload here. If you do not, it will not unload, guys. Okay, so there is that where you can find this. Let's go over here. Let's go under miscellaneous and there it is right there. Can do any crop pretty much, just like the milling machine. Uh, you can change the main color to anything you want. And you also have three point and wheel loader. Okay, so there is that. Remember, make sure you own the land. Okay, next one we have. This is, this is the lizard bell lifter pack. Just came out today, two slots. 400 for the single, 750 for the uh, double one. Uh, just basically a bell lifter pack for round bells. Put your bells onto there and you can lift them up and you can also, of course, strap them down. Uh, this was also, I believe, on what, FS17, I believe? And these were these are actually the Fleming uh, bell lifter pack, but it's unbranded on console, of course. Where you can find this, let's go over here. Let's go under bailing technology. All the way at the end, there it is right there. You got the single bell lifter and the double bell lifter. And of course, you have any choice of color. Okay, so there is that one. The next one is a trailer. This is, of course, the Marshall QM16. Four slots, $28,000, holds 21,700 liters. Pretty nice. I do like the Marshall brand. Uh, also has covers on here, as you guys can see. Pretty nice. Oh, looks like it's even got a little strap thing right there. That's pretty cool. Okay, where you can find this? Let's go over here. Let's go under trailers. And then at the very end, there it is right there. Can cover anything, uh, lime, whatever. Uh, let's see. There is no options on that one. Okay, so these are all the stuff that's at the store. Let's go to, of course, right over here. Here is the rest of our stuff. Uh, we'll go over the placeables last. I also want to uh, save game. That's not what I was trying to do, but anyways. Uh, let's go over here. Automatic engine off. Okay, the next one we have. This is the Kuhn Primer 2060S. 13 slots, 22,100. Uh, of course, what this is, you put a round bale in it, and it shreds it for animals. Uh, where you can find this one, go over here. Go under, I believe it's under animals. And at the very end, there it is right there. It does require 90 horsepower, though. Uh, no options on that one. You can put one bale in there. Okay, the only tractor we got for today. A pretty big one too, guys. This is, of course, the New Holland T9 series. 25 slots. It ranges all the way from $365,465 to $553,828. These are, of course, in the large tractor section. Uh, let's get in this big one right here. So here is the inside. Really nice. Let's actually... Uh, Put this on, see what kind of options we got here. Nothing on that. We do have something on that. What does that open? That opens your door. The R1, RB, and the right stick. Uh, let's see, anything else? Doesn't look like it. And there's the horn. Let's turn it on. Pretty nice. Pretty big too. <laughs> Lights, beacons, turn signals. Even in the back, as you guys can see, some big tractors right here. Definitely not for the small farms. Okay, let's turn that off. Oops. Okay, there we go. Okay, where you can find this at? Go over here, go under large tractors. There's actually a selection of four. So let's go all the way to the very end. We have the small frame, the large frame, the road tracks two, and the smart tracks two. So on the small frame, it's base is 370 horsepower. Uh, let's see, you have standard configuration, 
2505 uh, 2, kilogram weight, 1960, 1506, and then back to standard. Will brand you a Michelin, Lizard, Midas, and Michelin. Michelin, you can put the 710 duels, the 800 duels, narrow duels 30 inch, uh, narrow duels 22 inch, narrow triples, uh, and then back to 710 duels. You have design Fender 1, Fender 2, and then you have engine setup the 435, which is 370, the 480, which is 420, the 530, which is 470, the 565, which is 500. So we're going to go up to 500 on that one. Then the large frame, I believe the configurations are exactly the same. Uh, you can put Midas, Michelin, or Lizard. Uh, you can put 800 duels, 900 duels, uh, and then back to 800. You have Fenders 1 or 2, and then the 600, which is 535. The 645, which is 580. The 700, which is 620. So this one go up to 620 horsepower. Very powerful. Then you have the T9 Road Tracks 2, which space is 470. 25 slots on that one too. Uh, standard configuration. And the same thing with the weights on that one. Uh, the engine setup, you have the 530 Road Tracks, which is 470. The 565, which is 500. So this one go up to 500. Uh, wheel setup, you have the Road Tracks 2 18 inch. 24 inch and then back to 18 inch and then the last one which is 470 horsepower base uh, same thing with the weights you have the smart track uh, 530 uh, the 565 which is 500 the 600 which is 535 the 645 which is 580 and the 700 which is 620 horsepower so this one go up to 620 uh, we'll set up you have smart tracks 2 uh, smart tracks 2 high idler and then back to the regular so that is the T9, a lot of options on that one. Okay, the next one we have, this is of course a trailer, the Bedner TC21000, uh, 15 slots, $38,000, uh, gold up to 28,000 liters. And let's just go up here real quick. As you can see, this one has a different kind of option. You can actually put a pipe on it, which is pretty cool. Mainly if you use that thing for like, you know, seeds or fertilizer, stuff like that. Where you can find this, let's go over here. Let's go under trailers at the very end right there uh let's see yes so you can cover pretty much have anything in their lime whatever uh tipper trailers are used to transport the harvest argo wagons also known as chaser bins trailers that have their own screw conveyor you can use them to store your crop and directly unload it to other trailers or of course you can put uh seeds in there or whatever you want in there uh you have the 21,000, 24,000, and 28,000. With the 28,000, you cannot use the uh, put the pipe on there. Then you have wheel bearing, trail board, or Michelin. See them with trailer, or the trailer with five in pipe, or seven in pipe. See, there's that. You can even put it with the 21,000 too. So that's pretty cool. That's a nice little option on that one. Okay, next one we have. This is the Joskin Wago 8M, nine slots, $11,500. Just a, uh, of course, a bell pack right here uh let's actually see that it does have straps on there okay where you can find this one at go over here go under where's bales at bailing technology there it is and there it is right there the options on this you got standard option front sideboard all sides you have without toolbox or with toolbox so that is the joskin last actually regular model we have for today this of course is the uh what is this thing the lizard rmx uh five slots ten thousand two hundred dollars 4.0 meter working with this is of course a cultivator guys i have no clue why that one is standing up no clue at all okay where you can find this one cultivators now all the way at the end 140 horsepower is required guys and there is no options on that one Okay, let's get to the placeables. The first placeables we have is actually three buildings, but I have two of them right here. It's called storages, 15 slots. They range from 25,000 all the way up to 38,000. Let's actually open them up. Uh, maybe this door thing right here. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so you have this one right here, pretty nice. Uh, is there a light? Uh, did that turn the light on? Nope. Oh, there we go, there's the light. So it does have a light switch. These are actually pretty nice looking uh, uh, storage units right here. Turns green whenever you're trying to turn it off. That's pretty cool. 
Then we also have another one right here. This is like the medium sized one. That one opens. And then that one. So that's pretty cool. And then of course the light switch. Don't know why it keeps showing me that I can grab something. What can I grab? Huh. Okay, so yes, that is that. Uh, that doesn't open. Okay, where you can find these ones. Go over here, let's go under placeables. And then under sheds, we have the t uh, 12 m wide warehouse. The 12 m wide warehouse, uh, that's like a medium one with two doors. Or you have the uh, the bigger one right there. So it goes all the way to $38,000. Okay, so that is that one. Next one, I think this is a messed up mod. This is, of course, the Christmas pack. Two slots, $1,000. Uh, so far on PlayStation that I'm on right now, it looks messed up. Let me know in the comment section below if your guys' looks messed up too. But where you can find these ones, decorations, uh, right there. So hopefully they do fix that soon. Hopefully before Christmas. <laughs> okay, so there is that one. Next one we have, let's go all the way up here. This is two buildings right right here and right there. These are chicken coop. 32 to 33 slots, 65,000 all the way up to 70,000. And they can both hold up to uh, 500 chicken. So let's go inside real quick. So here it is right here, really nice. Really nice little area for the chicken. Okay, so is this where you, yes, this is where you put your chicken. So this is the front right here. Oops. So let's put some chicken right there. So there they are. And bet your boxes come right there. Don't know where you put your feet at, though. I had to put it in there. Or actually, here's where you put your feet in. And then that opens, too. That's pretty cool. Really, really nice. Let's go into the other one. So this is the bigger one right here. This one actually has its own gate and stuff. Wow. Feed right there. Buy your chickens right there. And of course, your boxes should come in there. Come on. And they do have also automatic lights. Okay, so that is the chicken coop. Where you can find this. I wish that fan would be moving though. Where you can find these. Let's go over animal pens. Let's go all the way to here. And there we are right there. It is $40 a day. Uh, and also rotation. Well, just regular rotation on these 360 degrees. Okay, the last pack we got to look at is these two beautiful things right here. This is the Russian grain silos, 12 slots, uh, ranges all the way from the old one to two, from $200,000 all the way to the new one, which is $250,000, sorry. Uh, this one holds 350,000 liters, that one holds 400,000 liters of every crop. Uh, really, really nice. Those are just, of course, uh, uh, decorations right there. Okay, here's where you get your stuff at. Where do you dump it at? Probably on the other side, right? Yep, on the other side right here. It's a pretty nice little silos right here. Mainly this old one, I like the way it looks. You can of course climb up here. Get a good viewpoint of your farm. Yeah, there you go, see? Just climbing on the roof like it's nothing. Okay, and as you see, there <laughs> it's broken down a little bit right there. Okay, and then there is the new one. Ouch. So we got those pretty, pretty nice little grand silos right there. Okay, where you can find these at? Let's go over silos. And all the way at the end, there they are right there. They can hold wheat, barley, canola, looks like sunflower, soybeans, corn, potatoes, sugar beets, and sugar cane. So that's actually pretty nice. See, and this is this building have automatic lighting. So really, really nice silo. So guys, that is the mods for today. Let me know which ones you guys are excited about. A really, really good day, mainly the day after seasons, yes. Also with seasons, guys, if you guys are watching this video right now, I believe the Snow Geo is the one that's actually messing up, well, the Snowy Lands Geo is what's messing up and making people's game crash. So basically how you get it from not crashing, guys, buy, these, buy the Howard Snow Pack before there's snow on the ground. That's what I've been hearing. So buy it before there's snow on the ground. Okay, let me know which mod is you guys' favorite. We had, of course, the storages, which is over there. We had the Christmas pack. We had the uh, Cocoon Primer. We had the New Holland T9, the Bedner, the Joskin, the Lizard Aramex, uh, the Marshall, the Chicken Coop, the Russian Grain Silos, the Lizard, or the NMC320. Let me know. Remember, guys, put in the comment section below hashtag FS Consoles. If you guys do like the video, make sure you guys do pound that like button. If you have not signed, make sure you guys do. Like always, have a nice day, farmers.
Peace. Yeah.